guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So before I begin a little project today, I wanted to update everybody on the marbled paper and the journals that are going up for sale at the end of the week. And I took under advisement some suggestions to maybe not load everything up at once on Etsy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get the journals and the marbled paper ready to rock and roll and starting at noon on, which is Mountain Standard Time in Colorado, um, starting at noon on Friday, I'm going to list a few things. And then every hour or so, I'm just going to put a, you know, two or three more packets up and the journals will be sprinkled in there as well. This time, we're going to see how this works. Maybe we will go back to putting everything on the table at one certain time. But this time, we're, we'll just do this little surprise sneak attack thing where randomly put things up until everything is gone. And I'll stretch it out for several hours until nighttime. And then when there is nothing else left, I will put that on the... Um, you know, the shop announcement up at the top, I'll say that there's, that there's not going to be any more listings, like there's, there's nothing left. So I'll put that up at the top so that you'll be able to see that. Sound good? Just something a little different this time and maybe that'll, maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. Maybe you'll hate it. <laughs> but this is the shipping tube that I put the marble paper in and I can fit, depending on the size of the papers, I can fit between, I like to fit like eight in here because I don't want to crowd them too much. So just FYI, the bundles I think are going to be, I've got them in sets of four. So, and of course, the amount of papers could not be easily divided by four. So there's going to be some that are off, um, but for the most part, they're going to be sets of four or two or three. I don't think there's anything that's bigger than that, though. There's no more than that. But rest assured, like I said last time, I will combine shipping as much as humanly possible. I, I will look through everything, and if somebody has more than one order, I will... Uh, combined shipping if at all possible. Sound good guys? Okay. Um, oh, in the United States, I think these ship for like four bucks. And in the UK, um, Australia, it's going to be the same as last time, I'm sure, because I don't think shipping has gone up since this summer. I mean, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to put that below the video if I can find a, one of those listings to see approximately how much it was going to be. I think it's like 13 or 14 bucks, maybe. I might be wrong. I'll, I'll look. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. I was um, playing around with some Mod Podge the other day, and I made something that I thought was kind of fun and had some possibilities for some neat stuff and um, thought I would show you guys this little, this little thing this little thing and maybe you'd want to make some too and I bet you guys will think of all kinds of other things to do with with this little project oh and if you happen to hear a cat like meowing yowling in the other room it's because there are geese in the park in front of the house and she thinks she needs to talk to them all the time. So you may hear the cat talking to the geese. Ugh. Anyway, she, I should have named her Mouth because that's what she is. She is mouthy. Anyway, let me show you what I made. Um, so as you can see, it's very see-through. Um, this is like a raggedy window. That's what I call it. It's like a raggedy window and it has things embedded in it. How cool is that? I mean, look how see-through. Cool, right? So I put, I put a little Van Gogh guy in there and I put some dictionary definitions. This is Sarah sent me. Hi, Sarah. Sarah sent me some super, super old newspapers from New Zealand, and they are super brittle. But guess what? 
they work great in something like this, that's for sure. There is a dried flower, and there's glitter, and paper, and cheesecloth, and little die cuts, well, they're punches. Just all kinds of neat stuff, right? And then what's great is on the other side, you it's like a two-sided window, so there's a stamp. And so you can, you can finagle however you want to finagle and have it be like a two-sided window thing. I'm working on a silicone mat. And the only thing about this silicone mat is it has a weave of fibers that go through it for its tensile strength. And so you'll see, let me see if I can get that. Do you see that little honeycomb pattern? So uh, I do not have any of just the flat, flat, flat silicone mats that don't have the little fibers in there, but you can get them really, really, really cheap. I mean, like Walmart. They So they call them grill mats, or um, they're the kind of mats that can go in your oven on the bottom to catch spills and that kind of thing. They're baking mats, grill mats, whatever. But they don't all have this, you know, this weave in there that's going to make the, you know, that diamond. But I wanted to show this to you and I didn't feel like going out and buying any more silicone mats at the moment. So I'm sure you all can imagine what this would look like without the little, that might not bother you though. The little diamond weave might not even bother you. It kind of bothers me because I just wanted it smooth, but you know, I'm going to put the OCD away for a minute and just pretend that it's not, it's not happening. Okay. So let me show you what I did. I took some, this is just painter's tape, taped out a square. You can tape out as big or little of an area that you want. The kind of awesome thing about about these little raggedy Mod Podge windows is that you can cut them because they remain flexible. You can just cut them with scissors. So you could you could do one big one with you know different scenes in it and cut them apart if you'd like. Be like two birds one stone kind of thing. Two birds four stones. But don't be throwing stones at birds. It's just not nice, man. Just not nice. You don't have to use painter's tape that's this wide. But again, it's all I had. Okay. And that just kind of keeps everything contained. <laughs> like a good bra. Okay, let me zoom in. See my little chef, my little chef there. So this is just Mod Podge. I mine was a little thick, so I added some water to it uh, because it. You know how Mod Podge gets thick and goopy. Now this first coat that you put on is is a little tricky, and this is because the silicone doesn't exactly want to allow anything to sit on it because that's its one job. <laughs> its one job is for nothing to stick. So this first coat has to be rather thick. This is just the base, the base coat to get, get everything started. So it has to be rather thick so that it will make an even solid coat because it wants to separate like oil on top of water and leave holes. The important thing is, is to get a nice even coat without any holes in it and then let this first one dry. Just let it dry. Just walk away. And it may take a minute. Uh, if you try to use like a hair dryer or something, you may get it, if you get it too close, it may bubble. So just be careful. I mean, you could use a hair dryer, but maybe just use it on uh, the cool, the no heat, you know, the fluff dry. <laughs> and, but don't try to don't try to use too much heat. Uh, unless you'd like to watch this dry, which you probably don't. Um, I'll be back in a minute when it is dry and I'll show you the next step. When it's dry, it'll be clear again. It'll be see-through again. And the reason why you want to put this base coat down is so that it will be finished on both sides. It'll have a coating on both sides. 
and it's good just to go ahead and start out like that and then that way you don't have to peel it off and then put more on the other side so and the reason why I let it dry is because if you don't let it totally dry and you start building up your layers well it's going to take forever for that first coat to dry underneath because it's against the silicone and you've got tape up against the edge it just takes forever so do yourself a favor just let this dry <laughs> and then we can we can move along let me grab my Mod Podge and and this is kind of the cool thing about it is that you can turn this into a theme. It's kind of like a raggedy. So if you have a theme that you're going for, maybe you want to put a window in a, in a greeting card or on a journal page, an, an art journal page or an album, something. Uh, you can create a theme. You could do an under the water theme with little under the water things. You could, anything, anything. I'm not gonna do that today. If you have dried flowers, you could do like a little botanical, a little botanical theme. So what I'm going to do is I have some words that I printed out and this is from uh, Alice in the Looking Glass and one of my favorite little blurbs of, of that of that book and so I'm going to be putting this on on this page and I actually printed these out on some of that clear mailing label sheet paper and then cut these out but that's not necessary I don't know why I did that please don't ask me why because I don't really know you still have to glue them down anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and peel these off and have them ready to glue down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat, put a thin coat, doesn't have to be a really really thick coat, and just have whatever you want ready to, I'm just going to put some things here to work with, and you can have things ready to put on your page. I, punched out a few things out of some marble paper and and just some random random stuff. This one isn't going to really have a theme. Now because we put that first coat on and let that dry, then the subsequent coats will go on much smoother and shouldn't have you shouldn't have holes because the Silicone is all covered up. And you don't have to be like real precise about an even smooth coating. Just, I'm just trying to do it as, as evenly as possible so that everything dries at the same time, but not necessarily for any other reason. So I'm going to put this uh, over here, I guess. Tweezers would be awesome. I like this little part of this rhyme, and I I don't think poetry needs to rhyme. I think rhyme a rhyme needs to rhyme, but poetry does not need to rhyme at all. But this one is I don't know, it's beautiful. I don't know something about it. I've always liked it, and I don't really want the the little lines to be very very even, but there they are. And then here is a little stamp and you can put it like forwards or backwards so you can think about that as well if you want it to be seen only on one side it's just going to be a one-sided window or if you want it to be a two-sided window and then here is another it's a little quote from a, a quote book maybe I'll flip that one around and it can be seen from the other side because there's one on this side too, because it's a book page. And let me get some little leaves. And maybe they can be like falling from the quote. Just drifting down from the quote. And here's some cheesecloth. 
maybe a little strip of this. And if you layer something over something else, like, like let's say, let's just go ahead and do that. You have to put some glue on it if it's a little dry spot. At least I would. And then just pat it down. Mod Podge is very forgiving. You can probably use um, like matte medium and stuff like that too. Whatever you'd like, it should be fine. This is just a piece of um, some of the glassined sewing pattern paper. And it just looks like scotch tape. And so it's going to be just kind of catty cornered over there. I don't know, maybe there should be some little flowers down here. These are from just a little, some, these little punches, these little flower punches. I got them at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar on sale. I'm just going to grab one of my little embossing tools and just carefully make sure everything is sunk down into the glue while it's still damp because you definitely have time unless you did a really super fine coat and it's 110 degrees outside and you've got all the doors and windows open then you might not have any time and I think I need one more of these little red flowers just kind of snuggled in there and a leaf maybe uh, where do I want it oh good job Nick now you don't even know where you want it well it doesn't matter kind of put one in there and then I have some like it's like little gild gilded flakes little uh, metallic flakes for gilding they pretty so pretty these things are a mess and a half they're kind of worth it they're kind of worth it I'm just going to oh, they get everywhere I've got so much of this stuff I should put some in a de stash because I there is no way on God's green earth I would ever use up all of this ever 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 did I say ever ever never and if you do it now before you put another coat on then it won't well it shouldn't stick to the top of anything like your words or the leaves unless you want it to it should just move right off of that but so pretty ugh I love this stuff all right that's probably enough now where is there it is so I'm just going to take my little embossing tool and just kind of sit these in the glue a little bit it's starting to dry but I want all these to kind of sit down a little bit and, and that way I can easily paint over the top of them with some more Mod Podge or matte medium or whatever it is that you want to use just be careful because some the reason why I'm using Mod Podge as opposed to anything else is because Mod Podge stays flexible and some of the other sealers and mediums will get rigid and so they will get you know crispy and they'll want to crack well I, I really wanted these to stay flexible hence the Mod Podge okay I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put another coat on all right so now that we're dry again I will put another coat on I usually end up putting about four coats but it depends on how how thick you want your page to be you don't want it to be too thin I would not do under three coats in total the base coat the middle coat and then at least a top coat because uh, it'll be too flimsy you, you don't want it to be flimsy but by letting it dry in between each coat then you're not waiting forever at the end I guess you could just let it dry overnight if you wanted that's the only bad thing about this project is uh, it is not instant gratification at all 
There's nothing about this, this that is instant gratification, unfortunately. But if you get one of these big, huge silicone mats, you could do several at once. You could grid everything off with painter's tape and you don't have to use this wide of tape. You could just get like the one inch wide tape and you could do several, you know, pages <laughs> um, at the same time and then walk away, let them dry overnight. And then in the morning you've got, you've got paper. Well, hopefully, I guess it depends on where you live and how humid it is, but it's pretty dry right now because it's winter. And I think that will be that. And like I said, I might put another coat on. You can, once this, once this layer is dry over the top, you can peel up the edge and see how thick it is and see if you want to just stick the tape back down and put another coat on it. Or maybe you'll want to turn it over and put a, another coat on the opposite side, the underside. And that's basically all it is. That is it. But think of all the interesting things that you could do with this flexible, wonderful thing. I know you could probably use like a laminating sheet and that kind of stuff, but that this is the thing. To me, it'd be a little easier to, to do it this way as opposed to like a laminating sheet or a lamp. I don't even have a laminator, like one of those machines. I don't, I don't have one. So I'd have to get the kind that, you know, where the two sheets stick together and they're sticky sticky. Ugh. Could you imagine me trying to get everything placed where it needs to place and then stick another sticky sheet on top of a sticky sheet? Oh, it would look like the Three Stooges, just, just me. I would be the Three Stooges all in one. It would just not happen. It would not happen. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little project. I will show a little snippet at the end of this video to show you what this one looks like when it is dry. But I need to start cleaning up around here. I've got to make some space for all the mailing tubes and getting all the, the marble paper into, you know, packaged up and all that kind of stuff. So I really need to uh, put some stuff away. Well, I guess that is it for me for, for today. I hope everybody is having a great week and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.